This is apocalypse and revelation time, as I've written in my book, Dream Spell. This is the era for all hidden to be revealed. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate your patience while I pulled this video together. I wanted to present it properly for you. This important announcement directly affects everyone on the face of this plane. It may have whispered to you in a dream, a vision, nudged at the corners of your awareness, or revealed itself to you directly. Listen and watch to the end, and then decide for yourself the relevancy of this message. Cocooning in solitude for these past nine years, I'm humbled and grateful to have received this message and to share it. Seemingly disjointed pieces from spirit have come together into this one cohesive message for humanity. I must be clear up front. This message is not about saving the world. The world needs balance. This message is not about codependency, putting others first. This message is about interdependence, putting ourselves first. Neither is this message about we are all one. I must emphasize we are not all one. Though we are of the same source, we are individuated expressions of life itself. Even if we are leaving this place, this message matters. Coming from the heart core, being the authentic self never ends. The consciousness we are vibrates throughout all manifest realms. That being stated, this message is directly from the divine, and this is a big step for me to come out of my private cocoon and share it with the world. But Spirit told me emphatically, it's time. It is time for us to step into what we have been preparing ourselves for. The past seven years, maybe more, I have been experiencing amplifications of all gifts and abilities, intuition, telepathy, psychic, and others. This tells me that this is happening for a lot of us on a collective level. I'm delighted, although the body journey throughout this time period has been interesting to say the least. Masked mind control has also been ramping up and seems to be at an all-time high. Mainstream media, through every TV, every black screen, and every sound device on Earth, is emitting fear frequencies at an unprecedented rate. Through the agencies of airwaves, pictures, and continually disruptive advertisements, media is both inundated and saturated with fear porn across the board. For most of us, this is nothing new. It's the loss of trying to climb out of the boiling pot. For those who don't know they themselves are co-creators or that divine law is always at play, they react to the fear porn with fear, resolutely reinforcing what they don't want. The divine mirror will always reflect knee-jerk reactions back to those people, and quickly. Whatever we tell the mirror we are, the mirror says yes. Before I was consciously aware of divine laws that have actual titles, in my first 2008 book, Deliberate Consciousness, I had already written about the mirror. It wasn't until 2020 that I was made aware of Neville Goddard, who exposed the ancient law of assumption, well known and highly used by sages, magi, and adepts of worlds. Each thought, emotion, word, and action we emit creates the moving pictures onto the canvas of life that we see. Abdullah, the Ethiopian mystic and prophet, taught Neville Goddard and others to call things unseen as if they were seen. From the alchemical Bible passage, call those things which are not as though they were. Romans 4.17. The divine is a yes mirror. The only real choice that is ever alive to each of us is to assume we already have what we want now. You'll find this next part really interesting. The fear pumped through the dimensional portal of TV that certain individuals choose to bombard their minds with and react to is their very own past thoughts and feelings. We are responsible for our world, period. It's called accountability and maturity. Everything we are looking at is all past thoughts. In my second 2011 book, Naked, I wrote... The present is the past. The success of co-creation requires imagination, intuition, empathy, discernment, authenticity, surrender, and trust. For the sake of authenticity, 
At 2006, I was divinely led to turn off and unplug the TV. I did, and I have not looked back. I watch only those movies I enjoy or am guided to, of which spirit, having unveiled my eyes, always reveals the occult symbolism and hidden in plain sight messages contained within those movies. The purpose of spirit guiding me to look into symbology, I realized, is so I'd be cognizant of the sigils that would show up on this journey, designed to enslave the mind and create pitfalls and potholes taking me off path. I was told sigil magic has been enslaving the minds of humanity for a long, long time. Sigil mind control evidences everywhere. We were taught to call these magic sigils logos. And it was told to me that the TV is a primary weapon for the capture of the soul. Since turning off the TV at 2006, I was truly unprepared for the innumerable alchemical events and circumstances that followed, culminating in an accelerated awakening or quickening in just two short years. Visions, transmissions, and downloads poured out from me at an accelerated rate that at the time I really didn't understand. Deprogramming hit this body like a ton of bricks as spirit purged this vessel. I had no idea that spirit was guiding me home. It certainly didn't look or feel like it. To my veiled eyes early on, what seemed to be betrayal, abuse, neglect, and emotional abandonment from everywhere over and over turned out was the divine isolating me in spiritual solitary confinement. Over the next 20 plus years, everything and everyone would be ripped from my experience. I had no clue what was going on and frankly decided I just didn't want to be here anymore. People I believed would be with me on this path fell away or translated as I continued on to truth in spite of the entire world. More hells have come through me than I care to talk about. I didn't pull myself out though. I couldn't. I surrendered to a power greater than myself and every hell was pulled out of me. My heart had to break open, wide open, for what was to come. Reborn from the ashes of an 11-year supernatural purge, a reservoir of metaphysical wisdom poured through my writing, filling the pages of my books, especially my book Naked. For the past nine years, my choice to be single, I found, was really another invitation to deepen in spirit even more. I continued carving out a path of my own making while living a quiet, private life. Since arriving here as form, I've experienced numerous challenges on this path. Let's just say I'm surprised I'm still here, and I bet a lot of us are. But we are here, and on Spirit's direction, as a mere messenger, I'm inviting you to this cosmic party. Most of you listening and watching just know that you have been preparing for something. You know this, yet probably kept it privately to yourself because there's nothing tangible to explain it. This message might be that something because I got the hit, as you may have also, that some big energy is on its way. Everyone will hear this on a different level. There are those avatars who beyond a shadow of a doubt know they are more than their bodies. They know they are soul. They are in the world, but not of it. Then there are those who are breaking free from their enslavement, straddled on the bridge between worlds, one hand holding on to the illusory world, the other reaching for the divine. Still yet, there are those lost souls who have absolutely enslaved themselves. They believe, eat, and drink everything the program says, following the program's every directive. These people worship the parasitic consciousness to such an extreme they willingly sacrifice their own children to the beast system without blinking an eye. With blind fear, they jack themselves intravenously into the TV to the mind pollution called news, forfeiting the sovereign soul. These beings gorge on every morsel of fecal droppings that incessantly plop out of the mouths of the chattering suits and bumbling titles disguised as authority figures who are in reality, no more than a parasitic virus consciousness of psychotic energetics with a satiation for bloodlust. We have all been utterly and severely lied to. The premise of my book, Naked, my third 2020 book, Dream Spell, emphasized you are life force embodied, but because human consciousness has been hijacked, you may be unaware. 
A severely psychotic evil imbalance has been playing out on the world stage and marrying fear and selling out escalates the distortion. We are powerful co-creators. We are the ones creating our heavens and our hells. While making this video, a 1920 book, The Power of Thought by Henry Thomas Hamblin came across my path. On page V, the author writes, the world today is in its present state simply as a result of mankind's collective thinking. Each nation is in its present state of either peace and prosperity or poverty, murder, and anarchy, simply as a result of its thinking as a nation. It is neither coincidence nor random chance, but rather divine providence that revealed the words of Henry Thomas Hamblin precisely at the moment needed to confirm the download of this message I received for humanity. Each of us conscious co-creators has been more or less working with divine laws to co-create and manifest things for ourselves, which is perfectly very good and most definitely fully encouraged. I am told now is the time to expand, to apply our superpower on a collective level. When the reciprocal, interdependent, individuated mirror dance with source is grouped by like vibrations or categories of focus, the joined co-creative forces, I was told, will execute mass change. I always say the individual is the collective. It's all about the heart core. It's all about heart consciousness. Those of us, like Neo in the Matrix, who sought for truth, surrendered to something greater than ourselves, we trust and we have been rewarded. Surrender gave us direct fusion with source and engaged the neocortex of our brain, enabling us to see through the system's constructed dream of programs, lies, agendas, distractions, and propaganda. Spirit dismantles any and every illusion for any and every open heart. As a messenger, I am unsure of the exacts on how we are to play this out. I only know that each of us is to choose a focus for ourselves and then group ourselves with another or others who share the same focus using our imagination. I do have a few knowns for you all. Distance and time have no place in this. Personal details of the chosen focus, unneeded. Focus topics are generalized, for example, wealth, health, home, etc. Explanations or justifications as to why that chosen focus, unneeded. Personal info, unneeded. July 19, 1968, Neville Goddard gave a lecture titled, Live in the End. I have been shown the epic beauty that is entirely possible on a mass scale for us and for our children when like frequencies converge. The divine starts moving pieces and parts of the world stage using all manner of channels to bring forth onto the canvas we all share our joint focus imagined halves. I've talked of this in my other videos. We are the ones co-creating our world. And I will strongly recommend again that viewers watch the 1998 movie Sphere. I could take more time to explain this, but a picture is worth a thousand words. And the movie Sphere speaks volumes on what we are being and doing as living consciousness and what we are capable of on both an individual and collective co-creator level. For the sleeping co-creator, through this following transmission, Spirit says, what you are has been carefully kept from you. You are a powerful being connected to life force source itself, which testifies you are intrinsically endowed with my qualities. This message is about you, what you are, and how you are a co-creator, participating in world events, whether you accept this truth or not. Without reinforcing anything birthed from the father of lies, we the peoples on this earth are keenly aware of the many nefarious evils taking place in this realm. Something of this world has steadily and increasingly worked to take everyone to hell in a handbasket. To the detriment of humanity, some are swallowing the lies of the ridiculously infantile misleaders whole.
By giving attention to the beast, it has cost humanity daily, energetically feeding its lust for domination, greed, corruption, and perversion. That beast entity has always hijacked human consciousness to produce the results on the world that work for them. It is time to start assuming what works on the world for man. It is time to completely turn our divine given superpowers away from their enslaving agendas for ourselves as an individual first, which then benefits the collective. We can co-creatively fine-tune our imagined focus as needed, strengthening the collective frequency of man's consciousness. The system entities are not our circus and not our cycles. Final words. I've done my best to present, deliver, and maintain the integrity of this message to ensure you partake in the download I receive because I truly feel this message is meant for a great purpose, one of which I have not been shown yet. Maybe some have already been shown. It is time to turn our divine superpowers of attention, focus, and co-creating, telling the mirror not what we want, but how it is, how it is, how it is. Be in this world, beloved, not of it. Definitely share this video. It's time to step into what we have prepared ourselves for. We are the pieces of sacred geometry. And when we come together in unison, we ascend. Thank you for watching.